Hi, and welcome to another installment of Math Basics, Mr. Besh. Here is the perfect union between equations and geometry. Um, usually you take a shape you know. Here's an example of a triangle. But not just is this a triangle. The key vocabulary with this picture, if you take a good look, do you see the two slashes here? Those slashes indicate that those sides are exactly the same. This is an isosceles triangle. So because the triangle is isosceles, I can easily take this side over here on the left-hand side, x, and then set it equal to the side over here on the right, which is 4x minus 51. And now I'm in business. Now it is ready to be solved. So the first step that I do in solving this uh, equation, and notice, I make sure that I put a 1 in front of the x here. If any of your variable terms do not have a number in front of it, and that number is called a coefficient, always stick a 1 there. It helps you in your basic math. The second step that I need to do here is because I have a variable term on my right hand side, I have to get rid of it. It's 4x. The opposite of 4x is negative 4x or minus 4x. So I subtract 4x from both sides of the equation. When I do so, I get negative 3x on the uh, left hand side and I get negative 51 on the right hand side. Remember, 4x minus 4x makes a 0, and 0 minus 51 gives us negative 51. The other thing I want to point out is anytime you have two numbers and they have the exact same value but they have opposite signs and you combine them together, remember you always make 0. And this here is what we refer to as the additive inverse. Finally, my last step, I have to undo multiplying by negative 3 here by dividing both sides by negative 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 gives me positive 1 or simply 1x. And over here, I have negative 51 divided by a negative 3, which gives me positive 17. So x is equal to 17 is the answer to this equation. That's for x. But it may also say, okay, well, what are the values of each of these? And in this case, you know, both sides come out to be uh, 17 easily because they're exactly the same. And uh, this is uh, solving equations with the help of some geometry. I hope you found this video both helpful and informative.